Well, how's it going, everybody? It's like August 8th right now, I want to say. It's a Wednesday. And uh, obviously, we're out in this field of soybeans right now. And uh, what we're doing is spray after bugs. Let me turn my air off for a second so that fan's not blowing on you guys, making it harder to hear. And uh, what we're doing is we're spraying for soybean aphids. Uh, it got to that point where it's not tolerable and he wants it sprayed. Um, so I'm out here in the 4630 and his Demco sprayer with 90 foot booms and we're getting it done. You can see I have a map down here. It's a Raven Cruiser. Really nice just for uh, painting the field and knowing where you've been, where you've got to go and if you're lined up or not. So pretty handy like that. Um, the soybeans, everything looks good. Actually, I take that back. I'm baking right now. I'll just put my phone closer to my face so you guys can hear me. Um, the soybeans, the corn, everything, knock on wood, is looking very well. We're very fortunate. We're, uh, we're excited for harvest. So, uh, what I got going, uh, just in terms of this, so yes, I have 90 foot booms. Uh, they're way out there. It's been a while. I don't have a lot of experience actually spraying. I just do a lot of the wide dropping in years. So um, I'm getting the hang of it. And now it's a new sprayer too. So the controls are different. So I have a joystick instead of like a control box with toggles on it for the shaving sprayer that he's got. Now I have a joystick. The booms come back now. I go. Uh, this field's really rolling. It's a lot of rolling uh, hills and whatnot. So I just, you gotta be like on your A game with the joystick. And uh, you wanna keep it, you know, so you're about less than, what did he say, less than four feet off the canopy for this product. And that's probably just a real good rule of thumb anyways, because you don't want your product blowing away if it's a windier day. But uh, you can see it helps you get lined back up and tell you if you got the field, you know, if you miss a spot. The old school way, and some guys still use it, foam. You got foam markers that you can drop a drop with a foam and then you just try to line your boom edge of your boom up with that foam when you're coming back but uh <clears throat> excuse me i got like a sore throat or something there's some sort of not a strep throat virus but like an allergy thing that's kind of kicking everybody's butt in the area lately so um the field's kind of it's rolling so I'm, I'm i'm staying on my a game with this joystick i'll show you that here on the straight note get lined back up to the house here. Just need to turn it just a little bit. So I'm going about five miles an hour. You can see it counts your acres. We're at 22 and a half. Just going around the field once with uh, the headlands. Put me at like 16 acres. So let's see if I can do this. So this here, this will control my tilts on each side if I want to raise. Like say this one if I want to bump it up just a little bit. That'll bump that up. Just like, you know, you don't want it obviously dragging in the soybean, you want it to be able to open up, miss down on the beans. So, I'm gonna get people that uh, don't like this, and uh, I'll get into that here in a second. I kinda got a little carried away when I was talking about why we're spraying and what I think about the need to spray. So that'll be a different video, but uh, we're going here, you can see the tree line. I've maybe got one more pass with these 90 foot booms, it really wipes the field up quick. So we're already up at that 47 acre count and I've been going for about an hour. Maybe a little over an hour and 10 minutes. So I'm gonna turn back here a little bit. So we're out here, the 4630 does not have its duels on and the sprayer, the sprayer is actually running and like the, if there was 30 inch rows, the pass outside of where the tires of this is. If you were to put those, these can be narrowed in, but the stability problem would be just a mess. You put this boom down just a little bit. Yep. The stability, you, you can't sacrifice your stability in hills. If you have flat ground, maybe you can get away with it, but to be quite honest, you can't even see right here is where the sprayer went through and uh, sprayed for weeds. So you cannot see it is very difficult for me to see the tracks. I, you know, in a perfect world, I just drive in the same one, the same sprayer, but it's difficult to see. It, it's not as easy as you think. These beans pop back. Uh, when they're the, to this point, you know, it's you know, it's anybody's guess. You know, 
we get some rain, maybe. If they don't, you know, it's kind of like the sacrifice that these beans make is worth what, um, is worth, what, you know, running them over because of what we're able to do is getting the, the bugs off. Otherwise, it would destroy the whole crop, so. Um, but really, this is a very low disturbance. I mean, you can look over there, and right here is where we just drove. And you really can't tell, so. It's not too bad, you know, the drilled beans are going to have to run some over, obviously. 10 inch rows, you can't get down the rows. Um, but then you have like, if you were to do the row crops, like, you know, say Millennial Farmer does, those are nice. There's advantages to both and a lot, you know, if you have, some guys, they say if you have the ability to drill and you have a drill, go ahead and drill. So, we drill, he's liked the performance of the drilled beans better, just in our type of ground. Um, but then again, like Millennial Farmer, he's running his planter, he's got it dialed in, like with the precision stuff. That's nice too. You can dial your drill in too. It's just, it's totally preference, so, but this is what we do. So, we're wrapping it in here. This is the last pass of this field and we're done. And then I gotta get going to work. So, I kind of have a rough idea where I need to be, but it's also not going to be a full pass here. Um, we do have some sections I can shut down, but I'm not to that narrow to the point that I need to do that. Uh, what I meant by that, right now I'm running full boom right now. So you can see where it says booms. It's rocking back and forth on me, but booms. And then it's got them selected up, and the six is off. So that means I've never run a square, but just knowing that, how this thing works, there's five sections, I would assume. Perhaps there's only three, and maybe the four and five are just on, because that's the way the box was, but my guess right now is that there's five sections, and uh, that's how this one operates. I can shut off the whole boom just by clicking off my master. I can turn off my, my power, and that'll stop it. Um, got the pump running, and then we got the uh, hydraulics running for the joystick controller. Let's see if I can show this better. So you got your tilt up and down, your overall height, and then your fold to both sides. So. It'll take some getting used to, but we keep it somewhere handy. You know, I don't want to bolt it anywhere because, you know, some guys like to have it when they're looking forward, some guys like to sit sideways. You can put it where you want, so that's kind of handy in that sense. So, I have to touch up along this, around this slough, but we're done with the field. It's about 320, 330, that's telemarkers. Telemarker, telemarker, telemarker. By the time I drive back to the farm, it's going to be time for me to rock and roll home and get changed for work. It's buzzing at me, it's telling me there's no product going through the sprayer. I've already whipped the booms around here when I turned. I don't need to put product here. What I need to do is come in here and you can see where I gotta fill in. So it should stop here. This product gets back out to it. If you can see it paints blue just for a quick second. We were above our, just for when you turn it on and off, you're above your target just for a quick second and then it settles back into where it needs to be at 15, it turns back to the normal shade of green. It's a lighter green where you're currently driving, and then it's a darker green where you've already been, so you can distinguish as you're driving around. So we are done, <clears throat> and uh, with that, this video will be done as well. I need to get going to work. So thanks again for watching. Um, take it easy, be safe, and we'll check you guys later.